All right. Hello, hello, hello. This is Attorney Mike Gravel coming to you from Chicago as usual. And as you can see, I've got the lovely and gracious Lily Bristow. Say hello, Lily. Hello, guys. We have some fun clips. We just chatted a little bit before. The first one, there's a lot of different clips. We go see Judge Simpson. We, we make a little visit to Chili. She doesn't even know who Chili is yet. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm dragging her into the dark side all the way. This is just stage two. But uh, um, the, the clip that made me think of it is the one on the thumbnail. It's a family law case. We've got ourselves a Karen. And, and you know, based on the hearing we saw with Lily, I think she knows how to handle that situation. I'm excited. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's get her going. And also turn on her video. Ms. Johnson, I need you to unmute yourself so I can talk to you. This is Judge Pash, and I need to see your face. Okay, could you turn your camera a little bit different? Where uh I'm gonna step it real quick. This is in Texas. A lot of people will know this is uh Judge Shelton's call, and this judge is sitting in for him today. Because uh, they'll know Judge Randy Shelton, he's really cool, and I've done a few videos on him. I can see you, you're a big shadow. You need to have the light shining on your face, please. Can you spot okay, the Karen? Can you see me now? <laughs> no, I cannot see you. All I see is a big shadow. You need to turn around and have that light shining. Okay, let me turn the computer around the other way. Let okay, me that, yeah, that would help me greatly. Thank you. Okay. Come be Is that better? Ms. Johnson, that is wonderful. Okay. Okay. Mr. Crocker needs to talk to me about the case before we get started. Uh, and so uh, you need to be a uh, part of this conversation. So if you would just, just hold on until, until I, until I uh, ask you uh, any questions or to respond. We're not starting your hearing yet. We're just going to talk about it beforehand for just a moment. Mm -hmm. Mr. Crocker. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, in our original petition in this matter, we filed an objection to an associate judge in setting this case. Uh, uh, it's uh, before Judge Shelton, and this morning we realized that obviously you're not Judge Shelton. Uh, my client needs to understand I'd like him to uh, put something on the record that he has the right to either reschedule this matter and put it before the the original judge. Well, all you need to do is Judge Shelton know. made a ruling in the temporary orders or waive. Okay, well, Sorry? just a moment. Just a moment. Is this a final hearing today? It is. It is. Okay. Ms. Johnson, I need you to keep your video on, please. All right. Okay. Least, oh, oh, Lily, I cut so much out of this too. There's so, there's so many gaps from her, like not figuring out the video. She had the, she'd have it right and then, and then screw it up. Yeah, we're back to the shadow. Right. And you see how nice the judge was. They're like, oh, that's really great. Like how hard he's trying. Right. And that big old southern jaw, although I shouldn't say that to you. <laughs> I I just crawled out of Georgia and there's there is some accent down there. There is, there is. Although I absolutely loved it. Yay, uh yay to all my people in uh where where was I? Savannah. Savannah's a nice town. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I had to step in. I had to step in. Are you still, you're not able to see me? No, ma'am. You're back in the shadows again. Okay. Sure let are. me move back to where I was. I need to be able to why, see Why did you, you move? <laughs> right, Mr. Crocker, I'm going to go ahead and have Ms. Romker start a record on, on this conversation. Ms. Romker, if you would, this, um, let me get the cause number here. Uh, this is two four one two nine three in the Matthews and Johnson case. Okay, uh, we have uh, Mr. Crocker along with uh, his client, um, Mr. Paul Matthews, and also the respondent, uh, hey, Ms. Hey, Johnson, hey. is here. And uh, Mr. Crocker uh, wanted to address the court before we actually begin the hearing. Go ahead, Mr. Crocker. Thank you, Your Honor. I need both. Uh, Mr. Matthews and Ms. Johnson, I need both of you to raise your right hand, be sworn in. 
In the matter before the court, do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, God? Yes. Yes, I swear. Okay, thank you, folks. You can put your hands down. Go ahead, Mr. Crocker. I made some recitations uh, before the court moments ago regarding your right to have a final hearing before an elected, dist an elected district judge, Judge Shelton. That was the judge that presided over your temporary hearing back in June of this year. You can waive your objection that we filed with our original petition. An associate judge, that's the judge here this morning, hear your case and elect to go forward with this judge. Do you understand your options? Yes. Mr. Crocker, let's add one more factor or provision to that. Since it is a contested final, they are both going to need to waive the right to a de novo appeal also. Would you explain that? And with that being said, do you have an opinion or a preference on how your case gets treated this morning? Uh, I think I would prefer to uh, to wait and have Judge Shelton here. I mean, he was who initially heard it and is familiar with the case, so it would be more comfortable continuing with him. Okay, so by, by the way, that that's reasonable. If you know Judge Shelton, he's a good judge. This guy seems like a good guy too, but he's more familiar with the case. Is yeah. that typical? Uh, the, apparently, when they apparently when they filed a petition initially, they say they 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 object to having an associate judge hear the case, but of course they could waive that at any time. Yeah, that happens a lot in Fulton County. You, we call them judicial officers. Um, yeah. I always go forward with the JOs. I don't typically have a problem with them, but a lot of times to kind of allow themselves more time than they probably need, they'll they'll file yeah. to get with. The yeah, it seemed like the judge, the, excuse me, his attorney had no problem with it, but he just wanted he wanted to know what his he literally wanted to know what his client thought. He's like, I'll try it either way. I don't care. And the client's like, yeah, I, I'll stick with Judge Shelton, which I think is a reasonable play. And th that's all that's going on here. But it, it, it just turns ugly at scheduling. Here we go. To preserve the continuity in the case, and you would like to have Judge Shelton hear this matter. Yes. That, okay. That's sufficient, Mr. Crocker. There's there's nothing else that needs to be done. This is, um, I just want to let the parties know it's an automatic right to have the elected judge hear your case. And uh, if, if anybody, either side requests you. that, and the law requires me to uh, to uh, honor that and uh, to basically no. uh, cancel the hearing today. Debbie Davis is really cool. She's a prosecutor. I think we talked about her for a second. They, they want me to have you two on. I'm not doing it because I know what these heathens will call it. I won't even say it. I, and and it would be fun, but no. And uh, <laughs> the parties and attorneys can uh, get with Mrs. Barrera about uh, a new court date. Uh, to make sure that uh, Judge Shelton or Judge Shelton or another elected district judge uh, would be the judge uh, hearing. How did I guess? Okay. How so, did I guess? Mr. Crocker, uh, if you would uh, just uh, at the appropriate time uh, request uh, another trial setting. We, we will do it this morning, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, Mr. Uh, Matthews and uh, Ms. Johnson, uh, that means that we're not going to hear the case today. It will be rescheduled, and you'll you'll be given notice uh, of the new time for that. And so, uh, at this time, you're both uh, free uh, to go. You can go ahead and, and log off now. And Mr. Matthews, Mr. Crocker, uh, you can call him later and talk to him about uh, any reset date. Yes, sir. Okay. And what time frame um, would this be as far as a new court date? Yeah. Well. The court coordinator and the court staff is going to have to figure out a time. I can't answer that right now. Okay. You just said I don't have a date. Right. If you have some problems with that, well, I tell you what. Let me ask this. I'm never interacted with his attorney, you know, so I don't I don't get information from yes. his yes. attorney. Yeah, because he doesn't represent you. The judge knows that already. <laughs> this is where it started. It just makes me insane. Maybe it's me. Tell me tell me in the chat if I'm over the top. This made me crazy. Maybe I'm too sensitive. Well, I know I'm too sensitive, but <laughs> I'll let you know with the moment, Miss Johnson. I'm trying to help you here. Miss Barrera, is that something you can address now? Or not? Yes, sir. 
Are they still needing the two hours that was asked for? Oh, the court yes. coordinator is not happy about okay, this. Folks, bear with us. Ms. Barrera is going to going to put you at the front of the line here and uh, see if we can get you uh, a, a new setting now. Just give her a moment. Okay, what two hours are she speaking on? Ma'am, would you just wait a moment, please? She's going to tell you what dates are available in just a moment, okay? Can I speak? Not yet. <laughs> October the 27th at 1.30. It's a Thursday. No, I've got a final that day. Brace yourself for this. Final contested matter. <laughs> November the 2nd at 1.30? Yes, that will work. Okay, Ms. Johnson, now I need to ask you, is November the 2nd at 1.30 a, a date that you can make? No, I cannot. Not, I mean, that's not a good time for me at 1.30. Can you tell me why? Because my son's birthday is that next day, mm -hmm. and I have to go to work. And that's like the one thirty time is, I mean, a morning time is much convenient for me. I have two other kids. I have a two. Her son's birthday is the next day. She has a party that she needs to get to. This attorney who, by the way, I saw more of the call is legit. He's not making up. He's got, he's like, I got a trial a day. I got a jury set here or whatever. And then we get into it. It's like, no. <laughs> and she says, it's much convenient for me. <laughs> Well, what's up? My thing is, what's up with the, can I speak? Oh, so yeah. Doing that to the judge. The, the hand signal, so yeah. Oh, she, she, that that's that's the worst, but she she carries it right to the end. My old as well. Just just a moment. Miss Miss Barrera, would you look to see if you have a morning? November the 7th at 8.30. It's a Monday. <laughs> oh, I have a trial. I could do November the 14th. It's a Monday at 8.30, but y'all would be number two on the docket if our first hearing. We've um, got Judge Thorne slash jury trial starting that morning. November the 21st at 8.30? Absolutely. That'll work. Ms. Johnson. For me, it does. Ms. Johnson, November 21st at 8.30. That's that's right. Right. Okay, that's, a, that's, that's good. All right, Mr. Crocker, I want you to, uh, let's do an order on this. Um, in order setting the trial hearing. If you would submit one, uh, Ms. Barrera, uh, you would make sure that gets signed. Uh, how are we getting... It will be in person. I just want to let everyone know it will be an in-person hearing. Okay, make sure it says so on the order. And how are we getting these orders to Ms. Johnson? I Mr. Cro Mr. Crocker, once it's signed, would you send that to Ms. Johnson as soon as you get it back? Yes. Okay, Ms. Johnson, did you understand that? Oh, there she is with the hand, the, with the raising the hand again. I, I, I just, uh, you, there are a lot of attorneys in, in, in the crowd, but for, for those of you who are, I mean, you know, she is representing herself. It's just her obligation to find the order. Correct. Now, this is typical. A judge would try to help somebody um, going pro se, and it is family law, so it's a little less formal. It's... It, this is typical. The judge is being nice, but typical. But I mean, the judge could just say, pound sand, look it up. I'm shocked at how many court dates they're providing as options. I mean, uh, she's lucky in this situation. Usually it's you take this date or you're not back in here for three months. Yeah, I would. If I was sitting on the bench, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't have rolled with it's it's my son's birthday the next day. Oh, no. He's, he's I would have been like, that is fantastic. So you can knock this out and then get right to it. Right. Yep. The judge is being very nice. Can I see? Well, ma'am, I just set the case for hearing. Did you understand that you're going to be sent a copy of the court order? An email. Do you want an email or, or a paper copy in the mail, U.S. mail? I mean, I'm, whichever, as long as I get it, I'm fine with either way. Mr. Crocker? E obviously, email will be faster. Okay. That's what we'll do. Okay? It, All right. It, so Mr. It. Johnson, your email address hasn't changed, has it? At yahoo.com. I cut it off, but I had to leave in the yahoo.com. I just did. I'm sorry I'm that petty. I did. <laughs> Have a good Yahoo account. Very good. We've got it. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, folks. And, uh, Judge Shelton will be here that day, and your case uh, will be on the docket that day. Okay. All right. 
Thank you very much, Your Honor. I, I need to know what two hours were requested because she said is the two hours still needed? Ma'am, it starts at eight thirty. The court's docket starts at eight thirty that morning. Okay. What two hours? That's her question. What two hours? The freaking two hours after we start. That's the two hours we're talking about. <laughs> Why you don't represent yourself? Oh. That was that was more than I can handle. So you okay. need to be here yes, in person getting out. at the 279th court at courthouse in Beaumont. All right, that will conclude the hearing. You folks are free to face. go. Oh Lord, I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. Hi, this is Frankie with the Sovereign Citizen. Okay, so there we go. Does does that put you in mind of uh, of your calls at all? I mean that. It was it was annoying, but I, and I don't know if it's just because I practice only family law that wasn't totally shocking to me. I no. feel like a lot of that happens in these calendar calls. No, it, I, I was saying that to you earlier. It's more garden variety, like it is. She didn't like freak out. She wasn't drunk. She didn't start swearing or do something really off the rails, but she was just consistently. The birthday and the cannot speak <laughs> those were the best parts. Can I speak? As in you stop speaking, let me speak. Oh, okay. Excuse All me. Right. So I can't even remember what I have in here now, but I think we're going to go see Judge Simpson. He's a judge in Ann Arbor, Michigan, in Washtenaw County. I've done a ton of videos on him because he's really cool. He's, he's different style, but big personality like Judge Manning. Huge call, crazy calls, big personality. It's 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 everything I love about a uh, about a call. Love it. It's in patrol, and I'd like to remind you to please hit like and subscribe, or I'll be personally offended. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wave everything, close the case. We're done. Okay. Johnson, and good luck to you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Don't, don't come back and see me. I remember everything. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take care. All right. Good luck, Mr. Dotson. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Gallagher. Yep. He didn't do anything. I, I take full credit. J James Johnson is a regular defendant who's coming up here. I Judge Gallagher. No, it, it's all right, Dotson. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you too, Gallagher. <laughs> all right. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. Court calls the case. Oh, boy. Here we go. Court calls the case. Bill versus James Johnson. He's a regular. Yes, uh, James uh, Gallagher, in, on behalf of James Johnson. Uh, Mr. Johnson, good morning. If you could please state your name for the court. Good morning, James Johnson. And, Your Honor, uh, we're here today for sentencing. Mr. Johnson, uh, he's doing a very good job staying in touch with me, uh, Judge. Um, we speak often. Uh, our request. Yes, he's incarcerated, and he literally is on the call every day. Every freaking day. Oh, I'm not exaggerating. Somewhere in Washtenaw County, at least once a day, he's got a case up. <laughs> and, the, and the attorney, who's, who's excellent, James Gallagher, he's cool, but the attorney comes in to vouch for his client and say, yeah, I'm in, I'm in great communication with him. Well, yeah, you have to talk to him every day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got to hold on, buddy. There's a little background Here for today, you. Your Honors, if the court would allow an adjournment to November or December if possible. The reason being, as the court's aware, uh, Mr. Johnson has a number of matters going on. And really? Yes. Stop. I'm sorry. He's got, oh, I thought this was the only one. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Uh, a couple of which are a violation of probation matters at circuit court, but uh, we're and we're aware of the recommendation. He and I have talked about the uh, re report recommendation in this matter, and we're just seeing a uh, judge. We just like to see how things are going to pan out with these pending matters uh, to see if perhaps there's something we could present to this court uh, for consideration. Does he have any more cases before me, or is this it? Because uh, if, if this is it, I just need him away from me. Oh well, yeah. This is <laughs> man, I thought we were friends, man. Oh no, don't even think that. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, uh, he's got more before me. Yeah, yeah, I got one more. I got one more. I know. Me. I couldn't be that lucky. So here's what. Right. What date did you want, Mr. Gallagher? Uh, Judge, we were asking anything in November or December, if the court would allow. 
give me December. Because oh, he's going he gonna to pick up something in November. I mean, I know he'll be back because he's on my docket every day. <laughs> I, 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 you know, as much as I like this court, you know, I say, hey, I got to go see Simpson, man. You want to know what? You like this court so much, it's almost like you're home. Um, man, <laughs> I'm trying to move. <laughs> I, 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 and I, I, wish, you know, I wish you would. <laughs> um, <laughs> I need to go to another community, man. Okay. Not just another community. Try another state. Yeah. I'll send you a list of my suggestions. Yeah, send me. <laughs> this, this is taking Judge Manning's. Well, you you don't see those calls, but when she does them in the afternoon, she's like, "Stay out, stay out of uh, Fulton County. Just stay." Right. That's always her, her her condition. <laughs> Judge Simpson wants to take it up to stay out of Michigan. I'll just get the hell out of the state. <laughs> A realtor, man, I need that. No, I'm not sending a realtor. I'm sending you a list. You on your own after that. <laughs> I need a fresh start. I, I show somewhere. Up. Somewhere you need a fresh start. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wrapping it all up. You told me that for the past eight months. I know. It, I mean, I, I'm still, still here. <laughs> Don't whatever. <laughs> I've been held in here, man. After this, it's over. This is never ending. This is a never ending story. <laughs> December 14, 2022, 9 a.m. We'll see oh, you before Christmas. <laughs> that's my, all right. I'll see that's you what? That's my grandma's birthday. See? You know? Every day you show up before me is somebody's birthday. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Big family. <laughs> you take, take care. care. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. Yep. Uh, uh, I can't remember what the next one is. I think I, I think I've got another. The 14A District Court for County of Washtenaw State of Michigan is now back in session. All those oh. having business before the court draw near, the honorable. Oh, Lily, this is an experience. I'm glad you're here with me for this. This is a unique internet experience only to be had on Law Talk with Mike. Okay. Glad I'm here. I believe, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure, honestly. I, I'm going to need help from you and the chat. I believe we are experiencing our first live wake and bake on Zoom. So it starts with Galaxy A12, but then he has to identify himself. It's Mr. Wood. But this guy, this guy is rolling out of bed. All of a sudden, there's a lot of smoke. But that could be – he might be ironing something. I don't know. That's, yeah, that's, that's his bed right there, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and he's just going about his morning like like nobody's been, I, we never get to see we never get to see his actual case. That's the focus. What's going on isn't very interesting. Okay. Well, Judge J. Cedric Simpson presiding. Court does call the case of the people of the state of Michigan versus Nigel Dennis. James Gallagher, assistant public defender on behalf of Nigel Dennis. Mr. Dennis, good afternoon. If you could please state your name for the court. See here. Uh, don't Nigel Dennis, we only have one person on name. Oh, that is correct. The way that he's like. <laughs> Mr. Gallagher, do you think that's him, the Galaxy A12? Right. Uh, I, I believe it is, Judge. I did. I spoke to him a couple times. I, I, I am expecting him. No, Judge, this is Mr. Woods. Oh, Mr. <laughs> Woods, I'm sorry. That makes it even worse. He's like paying enough attention to know that he's on. Everyone can see him. He's like, no, 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 you got the wrong guy. <laughs> next, next. Does not change his behavior one bit. It's not like, oh, I should put some clothes on. No, no, no. You Nigel can, Dennis. Right oh. Here. Hmm. I could try calling him, Judge. I was, I was fully expecting him. He, he was full. He was aware of this, and I talked to him yesterday. Um, tell you what, why don't I just do this? I'm looking at the sentence. I don't really know this is going to sound odd. Those that know me, I don't feel like I should have a bench warrant for him, um, given this, given the recommendation in the case. So I'll just adjourn this matter out to next month. Uh, what's going on November here? 9th, no, 2022, sure. 9 a.m. Your Honor, no objection from the people. I've forgotten. Does That's this court require the prosecutor at sentencing? 
If it's you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, we don't require okay. the prosecutor, but that we leave it up to the prosecutors to whether or not they wish to appear. Could be oh, this is a fine recommendation, so I'm I'm fine. Thank you very much. Good seeing you. All right. Good seeing you, sir. Thank you for that, Judge. <laughs> Court calls the case, People versus Jerome Gibbons. Remember, you look marvelous. People versus Christopher Page. Did I just see his underwear? Oh, yeah. Okay. Andrew Childers are praying on behalf of the people. First Assistant Public Defender Clean Anderson on behalf of Mr. Page. Oh, this is something. Okay. Mr. Page, did you have you ever done, um, do you work at State's Attorney's Office or Public Defender or do any of that criminal stuff ever? No. Okay. Okay. I mean, you, you get the point, though. Yeah. The, this guy, the defendant here, um, can't behave himself. So he's so he's uh, he's the box that you can't see through. In the middle, W. Christopher. Yeah. And, and um, his attorney t attempts to get him a bond reduction, but you'll see. Hey, can you say your name? Say your name. Keith. Hey, it's Christopher. All right. What are we doing on this case? Your Honor, I had sent in a referral for mental health court. I had a chance to speak with them. I haven't had an opportunity to speak with them. I would be asking for an adjournment for that purpose. Okay, you sent, did you send it to us? Or? Yes, Your Honor, the referral and everything went through. I believe that there was some illness uh, with, with the uh, agent, so he was unable to make it to the jail. All right, then probable cause in this, I'll set it for November 3rd. 2022, 9 a.m. Bond continued. Thank you. And Your Honor, as to Mr. Page's um, bond, he indicates to yeah. me that this matter's holding him in custody. There's also a pending, uh, I believe it's a PPO, that the bond is set at uh, $100, 10% currently. Um, he's indicated to me that he can reside with his aunt. He's provided me with her address uh, in Ypsilanti and that he would appear for subsequent court dates. The current bond is 25000 That's a bond that he's unable to post. Um, and he's been in custody since uh, September 1st, so 42 days at this point. He's asking the court for consideration on um, release uh, on this matter. Response from the people. Uh, the people would ask that uh, bond remain is currently set. It, it is a stalking case, and I have concerns for the safety. How the of fuck is it a stalking case? And I was locked up on the beach PPO when you called the stalking okay. case. All Just right. Well, page. for that cussing, I'm not even going to consider the bond. Bond will continue. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. You blew it. Yes. Yeah, man. Okay, keep talking. Court calls case, people versus Daniel Jackson. Mm -hmm. Record at the town. Okay, so there now. Now you know Judge Cedric Simpson, Cedric the adjudicator, as we like to call him. He's great. He is. He is awesome. That, he he's full of personality. He's a lot of fun. This guy right here. This is only like a minute long, so you don't you don't have to know the backstory. But I, I'll give it to you anyway. Chili De Castro is a YouTube clown who's who. Um, who thinks he knows something about law. He doesn't. He, he he calls himself a constitutional law scholar, and he just does dumb stuff and gets arrested all the time. Okay? He's just a goofy guy. Okay. So he get, he gets into a beef with uh, another YouTube YouTube creator, and she just and she just like annoys the hell out of him for for sport because she's getting views out of it. I don't blame her. She's really she's actually uh, pretty funny. So he sues her anyway. Yeah, he he files a bunch of like meritless um, actions against her, TPOs, uh, civil lawsuits. Just none of it makes any damn sense. It's it's just just dumb as it gets. Okay, so but she does have an attorney for one of them, and here and here is Chili. The guy's name is Chili De Castro. Here is Chili calling her attorney. And just make and just embarrassing himself as usual. He, he's creepy as hell. Yes, that's that's the deal. But here here's your intro to Chili. Hey Benjamin, my name is Jose De Castro. I'm really a nice person. I'm just leaving you a voicemail to let you know that I received your email today and I replied to it. I received an email that said that I should have no further contact with your client, Kate Peter. Well, I'm just calling to let you know that. They
Could he sound any creepier? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. There's been no cease and desist that has ever been respected. I have sent a cease and desist maybe five times, maybe six, to your client, who tonight will queue up another video about me or one of my friends or one of my investors or maybe my ex-girlfriend or maybe my dog even. She might make a video about my dog. That's real. And so there will be no cease and desist respected. I will contact Kate Peter anytime I choose. I have no sort of violent record or any kind of violence in my past. I'm not threatening any violence of any kind, of course. I'm just letting you know that I've hired a private investigator and I've faced my resources to taking her down. And I'm not going to stop Benjamin until I run her completely off the internet. And it's not just me. See, because what she's done is she's attacked my friends and my family. And my entire family is angry at her. My whole, could you imagine that? Could you imagine one person making an entire family mad? Uh, yeah, imagine that? That's what she's done. She's gone out to my friend's houses. She's caused my friend. Uh, I'm not going to get into the details of that because that's another lawsuit, Benjamin. That's another lawsuit. But I just called to tell you, you don't have any jurisdiction over me. You don't have any control over me. Don't ever write me again telling me what to do, ever. You're not my daddy. I have no obligation to you, none. You, you, I don't owe you a goddamn thing. You're a blood-sucking lawyer who doesn't give a shit about justice. You're doing court law cases. You don't give a shit about justice or the rule of law or the Constitution or America. Maximum yeah. length recorded. To re-record, press 1. Oh, yeah, there he is. Right. Okay, so I, since I was short, I waited until the end. He, wh Where he's so dumb is this, is I believe, is for some civil litigation. I mean, you know this. He's like, well, there's, there's, there's no, um, there, there's no TPO or anything or, or a restraining order. You don't need a restraining order, Jackass. You filed something. You are representing yourself. She is now party opponent in a, in a in litigation. Correct. Any attorney would say, don't talk to my client. Right. And since you're representing yourself, you are opposing counsel. So don't freaking talk to my client. I have this conversation all the time. Well, that I mean. He's only hurting himself too, though, with those oh, yeah. voice record. I mean, I would use it just to show I, how crazy he is. The first thing I would do is to, I, I mean, not immediately because it's not that exciting yet, but if I would keep it. And then if he actually contacts Kate, Kate, who I've, I've been on her channel too, Kate will record it if he calls her. Oh, yeah. Gu guarantee it. Oh, I tell all my clients record every conversation you have. Yeah. Understand anything you say or text can be shown to the judge. So. I mean, but that's enough right there. It, it, it's just sort of stupid, but that's enough right there to take in front of a judge and say, I want him sanctioned. I mean, this is yeah. inappropriate. I mean, it also just got gross and weird. You're not my dad. Oh, he's gross and weird. I've got, I've got a, I've got a playlist on with a, with a few. I, some people are like really get into it, but like, I, I need to like take breaks. Yeah. It reminds me a lot. I did, I did a, a stream earlier today because a million people were asking me about this about this Waukesha case and this guy who, who drove into a crowd of people hmm. and this parade and killed a bunch of people, whatever the trial has been going on. It's very, very interesting, but I can, I've only done like, I'll like do a video and then like wait three. Like I can't, it's like too nasty. I just can't, I just can't sit there and do it every day. I understand the interest. I'm not, I'm not like judging somebody else who's watching it. I'm just saying I can't sit there for eight hours a day and think about this horrible tragedy. I can't. Yeah. So I can do it for work it. if I'm yeah. getting paid, but I, I can't. I can't just for, for my free time say, "Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm gonna sit here and think about this. It's too much." So you're not watching the murder documentaries on Netflix every night. Yeah, then. and Chili's the same way. Like once in a while, you know, if if he gets tased or handcuffed or something, that's fun. Yeah, you know. So so once in a while, I can I can do a video and, and have a laugh, but I, I can't follow his daily exploits. It's it's too depressing. It really yeah, is. No way I could do. I mean, a lot of people are like, "How can you do family law?" I could not do criminal. Yeah. There's no well, chance. thank you. I, I will tell you, thank you for coming on. You you did. So now you've done a live stream. When we when we did the other thing, when we did the other thing, we, we actually ch chatted about it briefly, but then what happens, we just ended up talking. I'm like, I'll splice enough out of that to make a video. 
Yeah, we were. I think we were getting on to talk about doing a live stream, <laughs> and then we were like, "Well, this is good. We're just gonna." Yeah, we we'll basically just did that. Make this work. It's fine. So. But uh, but no, you're perfect. And uh, yeah, a couple of the faces were priceless. They really were. Uh, yeah, I'm they sorry. really were. It was fun to surprise the techie with it, with a little bit of that. My boss was like Lily, the facial expression. <laughs> Well, come on, the the guy for the bond reduction, you know, he's going to unload that while his attorney's trying to prop, pop him out of jail. Right. That's a that's a dumb thing to say. That is a shockingly dumb thing to say. And it's coming out of a box, <laughs> like you're already in a box. Right. Maybe right. Don't start cussing in the middle of a hearing. Yeah. Yeah. If if you have to do that, then yeah, that just sort of confirms why they won't let you out, and maybe why he shouldn't reduce your bond. Correct. And why we're having to look at you through a cement hole. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming out. That was awesome. Yeah, of course. Glad I could come. Honestly, the the chat also had me cracking up. They are funny. And although the, not behaved, I told you to behave yourselves. Not yeah, here's the thing. A lot of the stuff sounds a lot of the stuff sounds dirtier than it is. Okay, wait a second. I I'll hang up for one more. I will I'll show you why. It's this isn't personal. I will do this. This will take one second. I'm going to show you. Where am I? Let me find it. Let me find it. It's the greatest GAL in the history of the world. I'm going to show it to you. Okay. It is very short. And this is what they're referring to. Okay? Okay. Just so you... So I can be in the know. So you can be in the know, and you just won't think they're immature. Which they are. No. <laughs> it's, you know, they watch me. That's a bad sign right there. Okay. Where is it? Okay. This is a GAL in Texas. It's one of my favorite clips. You bring, see, I, I'm going to use Miss Fowler's word. She now is in a thruple. And not only does she choose to be in a thruple, and she's shacked up in the bed with the thruple. Now, if anybody thinks this is okay, I am in the wrong world. <laughs> Look at top right. <laughs> He's my favorite. I don't know. I can't remember where. I think his name is Mercer, but I use that clip all the time because it's just in dang. And I, I was actually that's just cut cut up from a video that I was that I actually did, and I, I, so I, I trimmed it a little bit to to make that clip, yeah. but not much. I mean, he he dropped the term thruple and a good five or attorney? six more times than that. That was an attorney. It was an attorney. Well, it was it was a woman who here here were the facts. It was a woman who made her child sleep on a couch with a stranger while in the throuple. Mm. But the attorney decided to and, use that. And term then I threw a complete moral majority hissy fit and just like irritated everybody on the planet. <laughs> I'm like, even me, I'm like, no, that's not cool. You, you can't do that. It's just no. <laughs> not allowed. So that's that's okay, well, at least I get it now. I understand. That's why I had a little bit of an idea that and and lots more insights. But, you know, you, you, you got to see a few of them. Yeah. But thank you for coming by. That's also what. But so you, you, you get to meet Simpson. Simpson's a mainstay. Although, oh, God. I, I did a hearing. I don't even want to have you talk about. But the, the, I did a hearing in Judge Manning. That, that was so much worse. It was so yeah. hilarious, and it was. I was in Savannah when I did it. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe this. Manning puts up with a lot. <sighs> I feel bad for her. I mean, the cases that go before her are so insane. She bangs them out, though. She does. She's great. She's one of my favorite judges. Yeah, yeah. She. she I mean, she will sit there everything. all day. She knows how to deal with it very well, but. Oh, uh, yeah, that, 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 that guy had 11 baby mamas and he, it, oh, oh yeah, you, you got to see it. I, I can't remember the name of it. I'll, I'll send it to you. I'll go find it. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you for coming on again. And I will, I will have you back as soon as I'm able. All right. Thanks everybody for coming out. Thanks for having me. All right. Bye. Bye.